Hello boys and girls, my name is Hotsus T. Welcome to my 12th episode of the Kayaking Whitewater Guide through Greece. This is the last episode for now, but let's go out with a bang. In my opinion, the best river in all Greece is the Acheron. Conveniently located close to Igomenitsa, this is an option for the last day. The put-in is at the bridge to Seritsiana and the put-out in Glicki. The best approach is from the south along the coastline. Near the put-in there are some nice camping spots with serenade, but not by birds, but frogs. The first few meters are really bony with low water levels until you reach the entry of the canyon. You should definitely check water levels and potential wood barricade when you're in Plaka. The White Canyon starts with a drop that cannot be charged from the boat. But if you know there is no wood in it, you should be good to drop in. Apparently there is now also a viewing platform at the top on the right shore, so you can check it out from there beforehand. Once in, there is the beautiful color combination of the white rock, blue-green water and dark greenery in a confined space. In Greek mythology, the souls of the dead had to cross the Acheron, the river of the underworld, in a boat ferried by Charon to reach the realm of the shadows of the Hades. The following 7 kilometers have first class white water in grade 3 and 4 in store. The various drops and cataracts are broken up by nice calm water sections. With our minimal water level it was sometimes challenging to minimize stone contact. The core section starts with an embedded stone trident in the riverbed through which you enter this section. It holds quite a variety of different challenges in store. They range from strategically bad placed stones to missing the right paddle key for the keyhole, finding a nice dry parking spot to parallel park or pure exhaustion from all the fun. While all these mishaps play out let me tell you a bit about the reasons why we come back to Greece again and again, because it's not all white water. In fact, what I remember the most clearly is not related to paddling. It's a bit of road here, a smell there, the image of a loaded dinner table. Food is definitely another thing. Huge plates of lamb chops, Greek salad, or whatever the kitchen provides. And of course not to forget the Greek coffee and ouzo. The cuisine when paddling is very different from what the casual Greek beach tourist is accustomed to. the more adrenaline oriented sections the river quiets down for the next few kilometers. When the river makes a left turn with a gravel bank in the outside curve it is time to pay attention again. From the right a creek flows in from the Sully Canyon and besides it there is also a ruin of an old mill. This marks the spot to get out and portage the siphons on the left. The follow-up section contains various fountains directly from the rock wall, swelling the water level quite a bit. But it is only a few hundred kilometers till the put-out in Glicki. I hope you enjoyed this video as well as the whole guide. If so, consider leaving a like. If you want to see more commented guides, let me know in the comments. So. I bid you farewell, at least for now.